Hello, my name is Mark Goddard. In this video, I'll be discussing the new Sysplex Variable Backup and Restore capability that is currently available with CA Ops MVS Release 12.3. Today's agenda will feature an overview of this enhancement along with all prerequisites needed to use it in any OpsPlex specific environmentals. We will also discuss the activation requirements and then follow with a brief demonstration. Sysplex variables are variables known to all systems within a Sysplex running the new CA Common Variable Service CA VARServe component and created by using the Ops MVS Ops VA Serve function. Sysplex variables are accessible to all systems within a Sysplex. They are not retained when all systems in the Sysplex are terminated. The Sysplex variable backup and restore Plex backup subtask was developed as a means to retain Sysplex variables across Sysplex shutdowns. The vast majority of Sysplex variables do not need to be permanent. Variables that contain data that is valid over a long period of time are the best candidates for permanent Sysplex variables and require this backup restore facility. The Plex backup subtask uses seven new PlexVar ops parameters that were introduced with this enhancement. Sysplex variables that begin with the new GLV PLX P name prefix are backed up to a shared VCM data set automatically when created, updated, or deleted using the Ops VA serve function. When all systems in the Sysplex shut down for an IPL, an automatic restore of the hardened variables executes on the first system to restart within the Sysplex. The restore function checks all VCM records having a matching Sysplex variable at Ops initialization. If not, it will create one. This makes these Sysplex variables available once again to any application that needs to use them. CA Ops MBS release 12.3 must be installed on each system that will participate in sharing the VCM control file that contains Sysplex variables retained across Sysplex shutdown startup IPLs. Define the shared VCM dataset using JCL located in the OPAM BKUP member of the sys1.ops.cclx control dataset. Important to remember, be extremely generous when you size this file. Reorganizing the backup while operations are in progress results in data loss. Excessive use of permanent Sysplex variables adds significant overhead to the CA Ops MVS address space. You can use external security or rules to limit access to the GLV PLXPX variable name prefix. Ensure all CCS FM IDs are installed. Refer to CA CCS solution document for RI64967 for complete details on installation and startup instructions. The CA CCS 14.1 common variable service component must be installed on each system on which CA Ops MBS automation will be creating and manipulating Sysplex variables. Refer to CCS common variable service CA var serve documentation for complete details on installing and utilizing this CCS component. CA common variable service is distributed as a standalone PAX file on the CCS media. The OpsPlex environmentals used for this demo are OpsPlex equals CA11, Ops subsystem ID equals OPSC, and the Sysplex variable backup restore VCM dataset name is equal to ATM dot vcmrls dot opsplexc.
Initially, set the following PlexVar Ops parameters in your Ops PA00 member. For PlexVar DSN PARM, substitute the name you use when you define the shared VCM control file. Also, verify you have the correct Ops SSID in the PlexVar DD PARM. These parameters can be adjusted accordingly as defined in the Ops MVS Parameter Reference Guide and this now completes basic setup requirements. You can now use the Ops VA serve function to create and update permanent SysPlex variables that are retained across SysPlex shutdown startup IPLs. Start a copy of Ops on each system you would like to be able to access the shared VCM control file. Backup of the shared VCM dataset and its associated retained SysPlex variables makes them available again for additional processing based on your automation needs after SysPlex shutdown startup IPLs. This could be IPL data, metrics, etc., depending on the individual client business need. Currently, these SysPlex variables are only stored in the main storage of the CCS CA bar serve component and cease to exist after a total SysPlex shutdown, independent from the standard CA Ops MVS global variables. The restore function checks all VCM records having a matching SysPlex variable at Ops initialization. If not, it will create one. This is how permanent SysPlex variable data is retained. You will now see a brief demo on using the Ops VA serve function to create SysPlex variables that will be populated into the shared VCM control file by the Plex Backup subtask for retention across SysPlex shutdown startup IPLs. We will begin by running a small REX program on system CA11 that invokes the Ops VA serve function and creates 50 new SysPlex variables that the Plex Backup task will identify and copy into the shared VCM control file that we previously allocated. Here you see the function call and the create command assigning the GLV PLX PA IPL info variable stem along with the data value of IPL CA11 using the data val keyword. After issuing the exclamation OI to invoke this rex, you see the variables being created by the function as a result of the say statement that is in our rex program. Use any VCM file editor to browse the shared VCM control file used by the Plex backup task to verify the 50 variables we just created were written to the backup file by the Plex backup task. We'll use CA File Master for a VCM editor in this demo. Next, browse the VCM control file. Here you see these variables. This is the shared VCM control file the Plex Backup subtask uses to recreate permanent SysPlex variables that you want to retain across SysPlex shutdowns. At this point, we assume an entire SysPlex shutdown has occurred, and all SysPlex variables that were resident in the CCS Common Variable Service are now gone. You are now bringing up the first LPAR CCS Common Variable Service Ops MBS system in your SysPlex. Now we will go into CA11 Ops log and see the OPC 5002i and OPC 7972i messages that are generated on the first LPAR to start after a SysPlex shutdown that you have set up this process on. The Plex backup subtask initializes producing the OPC 5002i followed by the OPC 7972i indicating the 50 permanent SysPlex variables that were in the shared VCM file have been restored or are now usable once again. 
We can invoke another Rex program that uses the OpsBA serve function with the get like keyword to verify that the sysplex variables have been recreated after system startup. After issuing a, an exclamation dollar OI, you will see the GLV Plex PA IPL info 1 through 50 variables with associated data values of IPL CA11. Subsequent startups of the CCS common variable service in Ops MBS on other LPARs that have been set up will begin to share the VCM control file and be able to use, create, and update the permanent sysplex variables you wish to retain. This concludes the demo. To summarize, we presented a brief overview of the sysplex variable backup and restore enhancement. We discussed all necessary prerequisites needed for using it. We discussed specific OpsPlex environmentals used to create this demo, along with specific Ops parameters needed for activation of the Plex backup subtask at Ops initialization. Lastly, we gave a brief demo using the Ops BA serve function to create sysplex variables that you wish to retain after a sysplex shutdown by means of this enhancement. Thank you for viewing this video. To learn more about CA Ops MBS event management and automation, connect with other CA Ops MBS users, and share your own expertise, visit the event management and automation community at the URL shown. This concludes training on the Sysplex Variable Hardening Backup and Restore Enhancement. For more information on this enhancement and all things CA Ops MVS, please visit support.ca.com and docops.ca.com.